Hello, uh, good afternoon. Uh, the, today we're going to talk about the uh, section uh, 91, subsection 14 uh, of the uh, Children Act 1989. Uh, the power under section 91, subsection 14 has been considered by the courts in a number of reported uh, cases. Under section 91, subsection 14 of Children Act, on disposing of any application for an order under the Act, the court may, whether or not it makes any other order in respect to the application, order that no application for an order under the Act of any specified kind may be made with respect to the child concerned by any person named in the order without the leave of the court. The case, the leading case uh, in this respect uh, is the Court of Appeal decision in REP section 91 subsection 14 guidelines R residence and religious heritage and that's reported in 1999 to FLR 593. The principles set out therein are as follows. Section 91 subsection 14 should be read in conjunction with section 1 subsection 1 which makes the welfare of the child of paramount consideration. 2. The power to restrict application to the court is discretionary and in the exercise of his discretion the court may, must weigh in the balance all the relevant circumstances. 3. An important consideration is that to impose a restriction is a statutory intrusion into the right of a party to bring proceedings before the court and to be heard in matters affecting his or her child. 4. The power is therefore to be used with great care and sparingly, the exception and not the rule. It is generally to be seen as a useful weapon of last resort in cases of repeated and unreasonable applications. In, in suitable circumstances and on clear evidence, a court may impose the leave restriction in cases where the welfare of a child requires it, although there is no past history of making unreasonable applications. In cases under uh, paragraph subsection 6, the court will need to be satisfied first that the facts go beyond the common encountered need for a time to settle to a regime ordered by the court and the all too common situation where there is animosity between the adults in dispute or between the local authority and the family and secondly that there is a serious risk that without the imposition of a restriction, the child or the family carers will be subject to unacceptable strain. A court may impose a restriction on making application in the absence of a request from any of the parties, subject of course, to the rules of natural justice such as opportunity for the parties to be heard on the point. A restriction may be imposed with or without limitation of time. The degree of restriction should be proportionate to the harm it is intended to avoid. Therefore, the court imposing the restriction should carefully consider the extent of the restriction to be imposed and specify where appropriate the type of 
application to be restrained and the duration of the order. It would be undesirable in other than the most exceptional cases to make the order ex parte. In addition to these uh, guidelines, in REPI, the court have noted firstly, any prohibition on the section 91 subsection 14 must be compatible with the primary drive and objective of the court to restore the relationship between parent and child. And this was established in Re B, section 91, subsection 14, order, duration, reported in 2003, EWCA, Civil, 1966. Following well-established European jurisprudence, secondly, along the spectrum of acceptable cases justifying an order under section 91 subsection 14 orders without limits of time shall be made only in respect of cases at the most egreg egregious and meriting the strongest degree of forensic protection for the child from further ill-founded conflict. The fact that a judge has formed the view that it would be preferable for the child a further litigation in relation to him were for a time to be controlled by order under section 91 subsection 14 will be a wholly illegitimate foundation for the order. I hope you found that useful in terms of lodging an application based on section 91 subsection 14 Children Act 1989.